Hello Game Dev HQ, this is Al Heck, and I got a great tool tip for you today in Cinema 4D. Uh, sometimes you'll have a game object and you want to change the UVs, you want to change the model, but you still want to preserve the information that's on it. So how do you preserve that color data? I'm going to show you a technique so that you can take one game object that has been body painted and it's beautiful, it's ready to drop into a game, but you want it separated on its own and take that information and put it into another game object with completely different UVs. It's a really simple technique and we're going to bust through it really quick, so enjoy. Originally, I had a whole bunch of items in this scene, and um, these, all, all these items shared one UV. And what I want to do is I want to take this one object, and you can see it right here, and put it onto this new object. Now you see this current object holds the correct UVs, but you see how the textures are really small and they're kind of spread out everywhere? And this new object over here, it's using all the space for the UVs and that, that's kind of what I want to apply. So how do I get this color information with this desk, this nice desk that's been painted, um, it's, it's shaded and everything, and pull it onto this new one? Um, real simple trick, let me show you this. All you have to do is you have your old UV model right here and you have your new UV model over here. All you have to do is go to your texture UV map in your new UV and just hold command and duplicate it onto your old UV model. So you can see how I'm switching between the two different UV sets. Then all you have to do is go to, let's see, uh, yes, right up here. You go to UV edit, there's all these different options over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my, my UV mode and I'm gonna select all these UVs that are important on this particular model. Then UV edit, and I'm going to do a store UV. That's going to store the information on all these UVs. Then I'm going to go over to my new UVs right here. I'm going to make sure I select this tag, go to UV edit, and we're going to do remap. And once you do this, it's going to give you the option to choose what channels you want to remap. Well, we're only using our color slash diffuse channel, so I'm just going to hit OK. And when I do this, all the color information from this one is going to change to this one. So I'm going to hit OK, and bam! You see how all these other objects changed because they got remapped, but this one stays the same. So this particular one is now correct, and you can see that these textures are increased over on this area. So this is one of the many items that we're going to be adding onto the game dev file base. Um, also, if you want to learn more about how to paint your 3D objects in 3D, we use Cinema 4D here. We got a course online that talks all about how you can use body paint in Cinema 4D. And go ahead and log on to our Game Dev HQ site so you can get more information and talk to us individually about your game development pursuits and needs. Um, once again, this is Al Heck over at Game Dev HQ, and I am signing off.